Cheers. Kat, I thought it would be easier to call in a favour. I've checked at home and none of his football mates have seen him. Where the hell is he? Right, look, try not to worry, OK? We don't want to panic too soon. I don't need a pep talk, PC plod. I need you to find him. That's the plan, Kat. I just need a bit more info before I radio this in. Now, this person that he's been talking to, do you know anything about him? Anything at all that can give us something to go on? As soon as I found out he was chatting to this stranger, I banned everything, so he's not going to tell me anything, is he? This ain't your fault, Kat. I mean, did Tommy mention where they lived? Do you think he's got on a bus or a train? He, he, he could be halfway across the country, and he hasn't even got his phone on him. Yes, he does. He gave me a tenner to make it back for him. <sighs> I took it from him to keep him safe. Right, that's enough, Kat. Lexi. Has he ever said anything else about who you might be talking to? Oi, oi, listen. Lex, don't get upset. Right? If you know anything, you've got to tell me, OK? Right. Good girl. He could be miles away. He could be at the other end of the country by dinner time. He could be involved in drugs, in gangs, anything. How can I be so stupid? We're shut. I need to send these back today, otherwise they're going to charge me. I couldn't care less. My Tommy's gone missing. No, he ain't. I've just seen him down the park kicking his stupid ball around. Tommy! What are you playing at? Right, you and me are going home and you're going to tell me everything, right? And you are not going behind my back again, do you hear me? Let me guess. She crossed on me again. She had no choice. Please don't tell Dad. He says snitches get stitches. I think we can keep this one between us. Listen, don't go running off again, all right? You had your mum worried sick. Come on, you. Let's give this up some space. Ice cream on the way home, yeah? <laughs> 